Good morning and many thanks for watching K10 News. My name is Dennis Aseto. Welcome to this edition of News Diary. We have stories making headlines, but before we get to giving you those stories, we go to stories making headlines this morning and forensic experts engaged to establish how fake results were transmitted during these years' KCPE results. We are also following up on a story from the courts where the trial judge Cecilia Githua is to mention the murder trial of former Migori Governor Kothobado and two others to allow advocates to take new hearing dates after the prosecution on Wednesday sought an adjournment. And we go straight to the Nairobi CBD where the roads have been closed and police have announced the closure of major roads in the city center to enhance the operations of a major youth summit at the Kenyatta International Convention Center. And let's talk about royalty. High Court told by Prince Harry that he wants his children to feel at home in the UK, but they cannot if it's not possible to keep them safe. Those are stories that we are following up for you this morning. And now let's talk about the housing levy. Employers who fail to remit the controversial housing levy deductions will be hit with a penalty equal to 3% of the unpaid amount every month if a bill before Parliament is approved. The Affordable Housing Bill 2023, which was introduced by the Kenya Kwanzaa Administration, seeks to regularize the fines under the housing levy, despite the High Court having ruled the tax unconstitutional. And as our senior political affairs reporter Chris Tyre reports, the penalty on non-remittance has been reviewed upwards by 1% from an earlier proposed 2% in the Finance Act 2023. A week after the High Court in Nairobi declared the housing levy contained in the Finance Act 2023 unconstitutional, the Kenya Kwanzaa administration seemed to be unrelenting in ensuring that Kenyans contribute directly to the affordable housing project. On Thursday, the government introduced the Affordable Housing Bill 2023, which was part of the clauses in the Finance Act 2023. The bill, currently in its first reading stage, seeks to anchor the 1.5% housing levy on salaried Kenyans in law and establish legal structures on how the fund will be administered. The bill tabled by National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Shongwa stipulates that employers are required to remit 1.5% housing levy deducted from employees to the government in nine days to fund the affordable housing scheme. Employers will also be required to remit their top-up within the same period. A week ago, the High Court said that the levy was unconstitutional and vague and that there was no law allowing the Kenya Revenue Authority to collect it. The court also found that the levy was discriminatory since it targeted only employed Kenyans and the government did not demonstrate why it excluded other categories of income earners. In a move seemingly to circumvent the ruling and avoid a contest in the appellate court, the state has introduced a framework on how the levy will be administered and eligibility criteria. The bill is expected to be debated by members of the National Assembly when they resume from recess in February next year. It's only this week that the same administration sought to anchor in law the positions of Chief Administrative Secretaries, CAS, despite the High Court having declared the positions as unconstitutional. The court is set to hear the matter early next month. Chris Tyro, KTN News, Nairobi. The report of the National Dialogue Committee, NADCO, has finally been tabled at the National